Ooh, the 63-year-old lady, she got <laughs> caught. She got caught with this like crazy scheme of shoplifting. <gasps> where... Tell me the detail, please. Yeah, so please. she's a 63-year-old resident of Dallas, and she Ooh. has been sent Baby. to federal prison for 54 months, followed by three years of supervised release. Oh, she didn't live that long. And she agreed to pay $3.8 million in restitution. Oh, she has that already? Yeah. Well, I don't know, she's gonna have to work for it. She's gonna it. start a GoFundMe? A lot of license yeah. plates. Internet merchandise? Yeah, so she, she stole, no, so so for 19 years, she stole merchandise from like big retailers or whoever know, like, I don't know where she, the, bleh, I can't speak, where she stole merchandise from. But the point is she would shoplift from a lot of places and then she would wow. sell them on the internet and then gain like a crazy yeah. profit off of that. She would oh. go on eBay or she would just go like through other like markets and on the internet. Where's worth the stuff? 3.8. Almost yeah. four? <clears throat> How do you even steal? What is she stealing? Yeah. From retailers? And then she sold it and got the money back? Uh, well, That's so cheap. yeah, she made a lot of money. We don't know exactly how much, but from it was between August of 2000 through April of 2019. Oh, so like oh, 20 years shit. worth. 19 years worth of shoplifting. Dang, wow. and she would travel throughout the entire United States, and then uh, yeah, like she would just find buyers on eBay and probably Amazon, like who knows, just internet sales. Craigslist, maybe. And then she would send it to them via U.S. mail, the FedEx, other. Other methods. Does it say how she got caught? Um, okay. it doesn't. I'm not sure exactly how she got caught, but they did mention <laughs> that she used shoplifting tools to disable security devices, and then would exit the store <laughs> by placing these shoplifted items in in a large black bag that she carried. Mm. So yeah. I, I, I just calculated. Oh. You just oh, did you, the math. You did it too. Uh, okay. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. So she had to steal about sixteen. Thousand, well, sixteen point six 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 or whatever. So it's seventeen thousand dollars worth of things per month to make about two hundred thousand a year. That's like for nineteen like, years. Yeah, a really exhausting. That's a lot, a lot of work. stuff. Yeah. Stealing is not or, easy. Or a few amount of really expensive. Right, <laughs> that's true. But if it's retailers, I'm thinking, where, where is she going? You know, is it yeah. like? Is it Walmart? That's a lot of shit. $16,000 shit at Walmart every month? I doubt it. Maybe it was like, maybe it was like Macy's and she would steal like name brand shit. That could be it, yeah. Bags and things. Oh, right, yeah. right. Wait, I'm sorry, physically shoplifting. Yes, physically shoplifting In and a big then selling bag. it on the internet and then all these buyers would would pay her through PayPal. And so that's what they're saying that they, the buyer sent approximately $3.8 million worth oh. Um, I need to know how she did it because it's just just blowing my mind. Yeah. Well, she must have lifting tools to disable the security right. devices. But and then, then she would have been in like, a black bag. But she I must mean, have gone to so many different stores right. because they start to recognize you after yeah, a while. And then she yeah. just went on road trips and just she yeah. must have gone around the country. No, yeah. I just said that. Oh, yeah. She oh, went okay. throughout the oh, entire oh. country throughout oh, wow. this 19 years. So maybe she was like trying on really expensive clothes, using her tool to take the ink tags off putting them in the bag and then walking out of the fitting room, just walking out. And you can hit like multiple stores a day. I mean, you can steal so many things a day. True. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Especially See, in I bag. probably have stolen like ones in my life retail wise and it was like this owl necklace and I had so much guilt about it. <gasps> but did you like it though? Did, you, did it remind you each time like, yes, I stole it, but it looks so good on me. <laughs> I wore it once, but I was like, hoot, hoot, you know? Um, <laughs> Who did it? It was, it was peer pressure. <laughs> no, I, well, your friends made you do it? My friends were stealing a lot back in the day. Like I had friends who were like, just out here. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I remember. Oh my gosh, once I was with uh, some girlfriends. We After school, we went to the mall because our high school was right across the street from the mall. So we would go there all the time. But then these one particular group of friends that I didn't really hang out with them much, but this one day I was like, okay, fine, let's go to the mall. Then they ended up shoplifting a whole bunch of shit from Macy's and I didn't take anything. Um, and then the security, the security guy ended up stopping us as we were trying to walk out of Macy's, and then they were like, "Excuse me, you guys, come on, you're coming uh -oh. with us." And then, because they were taking jewelry like right off the rack. Damn. And then, um, and then they were like, "You come with us too," and I'm like, 
I didn't take anything. And I had like a really small purse. And then so they checked my purse and like, okay, you can leave. But they got caught and they got in big yeah. trouble. Well, at that age, like you don't even need the stuff. You just do it because it's a thrill. It's a thrill. Yeah. Like, yeah. People just like, they, they used to shoplift for no reason. Dude, honestly, that's the thing that scared me from ever shoplifting because I did shoplift once before that. And it was also at that very same Macy's and I actually like I took a Gucci, no, was it Gucci? Yeah, I think it was Gucci. The a wallet, like bitch, like it was like a one of those like big wallet, nice. one, the ones that kind of look like your seaweed. <laughs> My seaweed. <laughs> like those kind of wallets. Oh, it like a dollar bill. Oh, yeah, yeah you know. kind of like a clutch thingy. And then uh, so I had that wallet for a long time, but I felt so guilty every time <laughs> I used it. And then that wallet <clears throat> got stolen from me at my grandpa's funeral. Oh, oh shit! So, so like from a family member. So was your grandpa oh. teaching you a lesson? Yeah, were you like, this is karma? And technically yeah, now yeah. your conscience is clean because someone else stole it, so they can't cross cancels. Yeah. And you just had a confession right. here, so right, exactly. there we go. I've confessed this before here. Oh. Right, right. Yeah, no. So yeah. now there's a warrant out for your arrest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember. I don't know if y'all remember the San Anita Mall, like OG, OG, yeah. OG. Before it was this, before it was this big. When there was like the wooden play area, remember it was. There yeah. was a store. A sticker store. Do y'all remember? A sticker store. Downstairs, upstairs? It was uh, downstairs, like kind of near where like Body Shop is now. You know Body Shop mm -hmm. and like where um, a Lady M? Like that that section, right? No. There was a fucking sticker store, like a sticker wonderland. And I'm obsessed with stickers. Like right when you go in, literally the walls just have rolls of stickers. And like little oh, stuff sheets, you get like, like toilet paper style. <laughs> yeah, you just get stuck. <laughs> and then and oh, then shit. people die in there. Like it's, yeah. <laughs> um, I remember s stealing a little sheet. <laughs> A stealing a little sheet of sticker when I was like in fifth grade oh, no. and I felt so guilty about it that like I was like sweating every night and then like the FBI is um, gonna come bursting through yeah. the door <laughs> we know you took those damn stickers yes you eat it you have no choice um I you know blame it on my mom and uh, so I was sitting with my mom at breakfast one day and I just like decided to confess to her <laughs> So like I was so nervous yeah. that they were gonna come get me. How, um, how much time had passed? I think it was probably maybe like three months. Oh, oh wow. damn! You lived with that guilt for damn. three months? Maybe a time. Oh, time is weird looking back. But then she was just <laughs> like, it okay. It felt like three months. It was like two yeah, days. Yeah, it was like two days. <laughs> I was like sweating. But anyway, there was a sticker store. It was really cute. Um, that's it. How did the confession <laughs> go down? She was just like, oh, okay, don't do it again. She's like, don't do it again. <laughs> that's it. But I, I, I'm just like naturally such a like a goody goody. To be honest, like wow. I, in my, at my core, I'm very much a goody goody. Um, so that kind of stuff always gives me guilt. Mm -hmm. So I just, but yeah, no, my friends who like stole back then, like this chick who like stole all the time, and I would be an accomplice. Like I would be with her, and I know, she, I know she was stealing while we were at PacSun. <laughs> Like, she would like give me birthday presents that clearly had a hole in it from the <laughs> from the wow. from the sensor uh, removal. And she I just wasn't went with good it. at removing them. No, I just went with it. Like, She's like, steal your birthday present with me. Yeah, yeah. She said, well, "What do you want?" <laughs> I was uh, leaving some like grocery store or something. This was years ago, and <laughs> there was there's a dude. He had some like baggy sweats on, and he was like. Um, and he, the security guard stopped him right at the, the thing because I guess the, the noise, the alarm had beep, gone beep, off or whatever. Beep, 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 beep. And, um, or maybe it didn't. And the security guard just stopped him at the door. Some of the scary ones, they have the silent alarm. Oh, yeah. So you, so you set it off and then they don't even know, but then security comes and get you. Yeesh. So this dude, he had his hands in his, 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 his pants pockets. The security was like, take your hands out of your pockets. And the guy's like, why? What? What? Wow. The security's like, take your hands out of your pockets. He's like, what? And you hear, you hear a clink, like the bottle fucking fell to the ground. Shit. So like, what? Clink! And he's like, all right, you come on, come with me. Dang. Wait, what was the bottle? He was just stealing alcohol. Oh, alcohol, alcohol. So okay. inside his what? pants or inside his pocket? He fucking had it in his big ass pockets. Uh, his well, pockets well, were that big? Probably in his pants then, because if he was like, uh, yeah, let it go and drive. Oh, yeah. Kids. Oh, Honestly, the alcohol uh, struggle back then, though, when we were un underage, like, we would have to get people to fucking get shit for it. It's yeah, harder it was... now, because they have that thing on top of right. the... Mm. Whereas before, when we were kids, it was easy to go inside and grab them, but now... Like yeah. A something. Yeah, they got or like a just little... have a homeless man buy it? Yeah. yeah. I well, remember... now what they're doing yeah. is dressing up as old people with the mask and then getting away with it. Oh! Really? And TikTok videos yeah, about just it. just buying No, I'm still getting carded for not even alcohol, <laughs> I don't even know, gum? For like candy? Yeah. <laughs> no. Also... They're asking if you if you lost your mom and shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, one time I... <laughs> Where's your mommy? Uh, at the bank. I actually fucked up one time. I was at Chipotle and I was trying to steal a bottle of Tabasco. Cause like the, like green, the one. green one. Oh, no, I know. You get me. You get me. Why are you stealing? Because you don't really. 
really, first of all, you can't really find the no, green I mean, one no. anywhere. They're and then two, all the markets. I'm taking it to go, because usually if I'm eating there, I'll just yeah. like splash a little bit, whatever. Um, so I, I grab a whole bottle of Tabasco, the green one, and I put it in my bag, but it misses the bag, and it just like shatters everywhere. <laughs> you were like too like, ha! <laughs> Damn. I smash it over <laughs> another customer's head. Or I picture you being like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I'm so uh, I'm so obvious. Um, but uh, that's another time I try to steal and never again. Are you didn't get caught. They were just like no. They were just like what the fuck. And then I I asked for a container. <laughs> so I didn't. Have you ever accidentally stolen from being absent-minded? Because I did that a lot. Yeah. Like I'll be in the market. I'm like oh chocolate. This is so cool. And I'll be like hey Joe what? And I put it in my pocket. Mm. And I'll like we would leave. And I'm like oh I got chocolate. This is tight. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't pay for it, man. No, no. <laughs> but I do ask for stuff, though. Like, sometimes, like, you just ask for stuff. Like, sometimes I'll go in a store and I'll see, like, a cool neon sign on the wall or something. <laughs> Look, can I have that? And then somebody, they give it to what? me. Really? One light sign? Wait, where do something. you go? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, okay, maybe not that fancy, but sometimes, like, if you just ask for shit, people will give it to you. Like, what? But I'm also very huggable, well, so people just, like, love, I get that. Like, if you saw, like, a turkey, like, display at Ralph's, you're like, exactly. can I have that? Yeah, that like, kind of thing. That yes, kind of because thing. that shit is all um seasonal, right? They, right, right. They're like, yeah. what the Foot Locker. When I used to work at Foot Locker, um, they would have these like fucking huge like displays of like new shoes that would come out that would hang on the wall, and so they would never use it again. So I'd be like, my like to my manager, like, I can take this home, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. They're just gonna throw it away. So I just take it. I'd have these fucking. Yeah. So I'd take it home and hang it on my wall. These fucking oh. huge shoes. I have so much useless crap in my room because of that. Like I'm such a. I love these little knickknacks and like uh, fun useless things. <laughs> Um, wait, you worked at Foot Locker? Yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school. I worked at Hollister. Oh! Who am I? That was my first job, Hollister. <laughs> yeah. What? My first job was Hollister at the mall. And then, yeah, um... Well. You seem more like a Pac Sun girl than a Hollister yeah. girl. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I'm um, I'll take that, uh... Pac Sun probably wasn't. Hot Topic girl on, you know, some days. Uh, hot Topic is totally Current rebranded, hot by the way. Oh, or old Hot shot. Topic. Now it's, no, now it's like Pusheen. <laughs> like, it's like yeah, completely... When we were little expensive. and Hot Topic was like, scary. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. It's like it smelled oh. funny and all. No, you it walk in... So dark, too. Hot Topic, like, when you walked in, it was like that movie 13 Ghosts. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The 13 yeah. Ghosts yeah. were like people like... like Halloween store. Halloween yeah, store. that shit was scary. Yeah. Right. And Screamo was always yeah. playing. It's like, now it's like Hello Kitty and like NSYNC shirts. Yeah, it's like novelty. No, honestly, it's lit. Like, I get a lot of clothes there. Oh, now. I mean, that's cool. Kind of. It evolved yeah. from like super alternative store to then kind of like like a novelty, like kind of like you know those pop Funko I, I, things. Yeah, I was shopping at Hot Topic for a while. Like I, I always used to get my black jeans at Hot Topic and the occasional like band shirt or funny shirt. The band shirts, yeah. yeah. And then now I feel like they've really leaned into the like. Oh, now it's just more like just like preteen stuff. Yeah. Because actually, Hot Topic was what introduced me to like get into like my my dark emo <laughs> like punker phase yeah. that I had in like freshman year, I think. Mm -hmm. But I remember Hot Topic being so cool. I'm like, oh my god, this is so. Scary. It's kind of like, like a um. It's kind of like. <laughs> Testing to be goth, yeah, or testing to be a punk, just a little bit. It's the gateway well, to. Where, gateway, yeah, well, that's yeah, where yeah. they Emo used night. to actually go to go shop because that's like how like hardcore right. it used well, to be. I was wearing like rave pants, like baggy rave pants. A like, that jeans? I got there. And a whole bunch of chains and something. Yeah, and then I remember like I was in sixth grade and this eighth grader was like, "Hey, she has, she has like nice rave pants." And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> to my to my five four dudes that need skinny jeans, hot topic. Really, yeah. hot topic's that bitch.